Thank you. <lacht> <lacht> um, so what systems of support do you find have helped overcome these challenges? Or what systems of support would create better opportunities for you? Probably more going to be the second one, isn't it? Better op- systems of support for better opportunities yeah. for accessing things. Is that what you mean? So, so what systems of support would create... See, I didn't... I wasn't part of developing these questions, so sometimes I read them and I don't actually no, understand no, what they're right. about. But um, what systems of support would create better opportunities for you so um so they're given a few examples like people mentors events incentives so i guess it's thinking about like how how might people yeah how might you be able to be got to engage better essentially like how would i guess i suppose it's really like yeah it depends on like who who you have in your sort of circles I, I guess I mean like if we think back to school it would be like the promotion of it via your like teachers yeah. and things like that um definitely that was it just really wasn't something that was discussed mm. ever um and then like sort of immediate family and things I suppose that's yeah I would I would consider that to be like a something that would like push people to do certain things yeah um and just like yeah I don't know like witnessing it I think I don't know I think that's definitely like I could I would say like a hundred percent like seeing the difference between living in the like a countryside versus mm. city like I mean like as I've mentioned like I, I like I've just I've, I see this as like providing so many more opportunities like just through like conversations with people yeah. like, that was just not something that was ever really like widely discussed at home and like yeah. like there wasn't like youth groups or things mm. like that really that people were part of and stuff like that it just wasn't a thing yeah um so it wasn't really until coming here that I would say that like I've had sort of I don't know what the examples were you gave, like, mentors and things, but, like, and then they're not really sort of relevant now. But, yeah, I just wouldn't say it's just... It's just not something that was on my radar, basically. Yeah, so, um, like, the kind of... The systems of support that would create better opportunities is just maybe, like, just advertisement and just, like, word of mouth and awareness and... Yeah, mm. I just don't... I don't... I really, It's really difficult to, com- like... I don't know if that's the same for, like, across the, like, across, like, cities and, con- and like, mm. sort of countryside places and stuff, like, just wait, like, I don't know, maybe I'm just, like, generalising <clears throat> that, but, like, that's, that's how I felt, experience. definitely, yeah. coming from, like, a small town. Yeah. It was just, like, yeah. And then also, yeah, I don't know, I, so I feel like I'm focusing loads on, like, sort of, like, growing up, is that? Right. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Um I mean Yeah, I mean I guess I mean I'm trying to think what we really want to work out from this question, but I guess Yeah, I mean I guess we are trying to think about to what extent like engaging feels important for you now, um and what role it plays for you now and maybe how I don't know how how you might be encouraged to access opportunities. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to answer, isn't it? But yeah, I guess maybe thinking about how like what what would like incentivize you? Um, can you think of anything other than maybe hearing more about things and like, other people doing it? What yeah. Might... Um. I th- I think well I know definitely like doing stuff that's like maybe not something that I would like immediately consider like a key interest or hobby for me so I don't know for example like we were talking about going like Mm. to that life drawing class yeah being in situations like that like a new communities I think would definitely incentivize me just like having conversations with different people yeah um but then I guess the motivation behind that is like 
oh, can you push yourself outside of your comfort zone and, and do different things? Yeah. And that's a whole other question, I suppose. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, like, one challenge is just, like, actually, yeah, just getting yourself to do something that feels uncomfortable and starting mm. something new does feel uncomfortable. Um, the next question is, so thinking about systems... I hate how this is worded. Thinking about systems of support... Um, that would create better opportunities where would you go to access this support like this imaginary support Mm. I don't know I'd probably just immediately say like online Mm. I'd look online for opportunities yeah Um, yeah and then like talk to people that I know that are like involved in things and yeah. see um and then I guess from there it like once you feel like you are kind of in something that's providing like some sort of civic engagement you are open then to other like further opportunities from there I suppose you know immediately I'd probably like just look on look on the internet okay you know? I feel like that's so obvious but like, yeah no, it's not actually. I didn't even think that was an answer. Um, thank you. How long have we got? Okay, I've done oh, 36 thanks. minutes. Um, you're for as long as you need. Thanks, love. Um, so next section, we've got two more sections. Next section is looking towards the future. And what does a thriving community look like to you? Oh my god, is that a question? That's a question. That, that's quite big I feel like yeah a thriving community um okay immediately I'd probably say a thriving community is a place where like everyone within it can feel like they can learn something new Mm. so that the community itself is like continuously growing yeah um and like welcoming new people and yeah I'd say that's a thriving community. I wouldn't say it's, like, anything... I mean, I say welcoming new people, but I wouldn't say it's anything about size and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I'd also say... Um, the a thriving community potentially, like... Oh, I don't know. I was going to say, like, outwardly would, like be sort of like accessible for everyone but like people would be able to tell whether or not it was for them and stuff Mm. like that but then that kind of sounds a bit negative I don't know and then I suppose probably all of those things I described like how you you know like feeling in a community I suppose like a thriving one would provide that for people Mm. so like I don't know, like, the self-improvement stuff, the positivity, yeah. feeling comfortable, welcome, all of that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but no, yeah, i definitely say, like, the main one that I would, like, yeah, instinctively go for is that it's, a, like, a place where people can kind of, like, continuously learn and grow. Okay. That makes sense. That does make sense, yeah. Um, so, the next question is what do you think you and your peers civic role is in society um so i don't know to kind of reword that like what would you like to make better or resolve for the next generation so many things i feel like that's so hard um um well i guess i suppose on in in reflection of this conversation Mm. um the accessibility of communities <laughs> yeah in all all areas um i think something i've been thinking a lot about recently is like and i was thinking about it today like how um we as a generation have like so much information mm. like so much information that's like just at our fingertips and like so like 
and we can just access it all like so much more than anyone anyone else has ever been able to before yeah and like that is so